get yourself comfortable, sitting up nice and tall, taking a moment to arrive on your mat, maybe closing your eyes, checking in with how you're feeling this morning, doing a scan from the toes all the way up to the top of the head. Checking in to see if there's any tight spots, any tenderness from your sleep. It needs a little extra love today. And just noticing your breath, noticing the quality of it, noticing where it is going for you. Is it high in the chest? Is it all the way down into your belly. And gradually getting that breath, if it's not there already, to expand down into your belly. Breathing all the way in, breathing all the way out. some good diaphragmatic breath going here. So when we breathe all the way down into our belly, our diaphragm is kind of like a, a jellyfish. And as you breathe in, it pushes down into the internal organs, the digestive system, the kidneys, liver, intestines. And then as you exhale, it comes back up and massages your heart and lungs. So this movement of the diaphragm moving back and forth is really good to focus on, especially first thing in the morning, giving your internal organs a little bit of massage just with your breath. So taking a moment more here. Let's take our fingertips to the mat. We're going to inhale, reach the arms all the way up. And then letting them float back down as you exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale back down. And we'll do one more. Inhale. And exhale, letting your hands rest on your mat. Let's reach the left arm up to your ceiling and coming all the way over to your right, creating some space, breathing down into that space. And then we'll come all the way back up. Let's do the other side, right arm reaching up and coming over. And then back to center. And we'll do a little twist here, left hand to right knee, right hand behind. Gently looking over your right shoulder. Continuing with that diaphragmatic breath, so breathing all the way down into your belly. Great way to give those organs a massage as you twist here. And then coming back to center, let's go to the other side, right hand to left knee, left hand behind, looking over your left shoulder. Three breaths. And then back to center. We're going to fire up this core here. We're going to do some Kalabhati breath. So that breath is all from your belly. We're going to be pulling the belly in. We're going to do a short inhale, forceful exhale. And the easiest way, if you're not quite comfortable with it, is to start by panting like a dog. So, 
And as you do that, you're pulling your belly button in towards your spine. So just this lower half is moving. And once you've got that, you can close your mouth and just forcefully exhale through your nose. So we'll do a little, uh, maybe a minute or so of that. So when you're ready, you may begin. Beautiful, and bringing your breath back to its natural rhythm. Just close your eyes for a moment and feel that flood of energy, kind of like a gentle shower coming from the top of your head down towards the ground. So a breath of fire, Kalabati breath, or sometimes called shining skull because it helps to clear out any cobwebs out of your mind. So from here, let's do a few circles. We're gonna come over to the right, forward, and then to the left, taking yourself around, and keeping your sits bones on the floor. So you're just moving that core here. And then going in the other direction. Turning and back to center. Beautiful. Let's take the shoulders to the ears, letting them roll down our back, and then dropping your chin to your chest, letting the shoulders relax, letting the neck get a little stretch here. Maybe rocking your head from side to side, nice and gentle. And if you'd like, you can take your nose into a nice big circle. Again, really listening to your body, only doing what feels right for you. And then if it feels right, you can go the other direction. And back to center. We're going to come on to our hands and knees. Getting yourself set up in a table position, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, and we'll do some cat-cows from here. Exhale, rounding your back, and inhale, letting your belly sink down as your head and tailbone come up. Moving back and forth with your breath. And coming back to stillness, we'll do some barrel rolls with our belly. So taking your rib cage over to the left and then up to the ceiling and over to the right and down to the floor. So making a nice big circle as if you're scraping the peanut butter jar with a knife. And then you can take it in the other direction. And back to stillness. Let's take our right foot back out, toes on the mat, and we'll just wake up the calves with a few pumps of your heel. And then lifting that leg up parallel to the floor. Let's do a few uh, leg pumps here. So lifting your leg up and down. As you do this, bringing the belly button to kiss the spine. Keeping your neck nice and long. Gaze down at your mat. And then as we 
Do the exhale, let's bring the knee to the nose, rounding the back, and then inhale, sending it back out. Exhale, in and out. And once more, bring that knee in and back out. Let's hold the right leg out. We're going to take the left arm out, coming into a nice cat dog here, stretching your fingers and your toes, engaging that core. And if it feels all right for you, we're going to take the left elbow to the right knee and then stretching it back out. Moving with your breath. Let's do two more like that. And last one. Good. Bringing your hand and your knee back down to the mat. Let's just take a rest in child's pose, bringing your hips to your heels, stretching your arms out if they feel good like that, or else stacking your fists. We're going to rest the head all the way down, either on your fists or on your hands or on the floor. Taking a few resting breaths here, letting your hips settle. Your breath gets smooth and steady. Then we'll come back into our table position, getting the knees back underneath the hips, wrists under shoulders. And before we go into the other side, we're going to do a little hover here. So pushing into the tops of your feet and lifting your knees up just a few inches off the floor. Really feel the core firing up here, making sure your wrists feel okay. Taking three more breaths, two and one, and then lowering your knees back to the mat. Let's send the left leg out and do a few pumps with your heel to wake up the calves. And then lifting that leg up parallel to the floor, we'll take it up and down. Again, pulling your belly button towards your spine. And then as you exhale, bringing your knee to your nose, sanding it back out. Moving with your breath. Yoga is all about that union of movement and breath. And last one, and sending that leg out, stretching it out. Let's reach the opposite arm out for a little balance here. Breathing. And then we'll bring the elbow to the knee on this side. See how this feels, stretching it out as you inhale, bringing it in as you exhale. I'm doing two more. Nice and controlled. Beautiful. Let's bring the hand and the knee back down to the mat. Just let your hips go from side to side. Little puppy dog wagging its tail. And then we'll come back to center. Let's curl the toes under. We'll bring ourselves into our downward facing dog. And you can pump one heel out at a time, stretching out the hamstrings, stretching out the calves and the heels. And then bringing both heels down into stillness, bringing your head in between your arms. So you can get your hips up towards the ceiling a little higher. And then we'll slowly take a, a walk up towards our hands, bending our knees as we approach the hands. 
Hanging into our rag doll. Letting your head shake yes and no. Maybe grabbing hold of the elbows and swaying from side to side. Getting loose and limp. And then coming back to center, back to stillness. See if you can straighten out those legs, bringing your head down a little bit closer to the floor. Breathing here. And then we'll bend the knees. Let's slowly roll all the way up to stand, keeping your chin tucked until you're feeling stable. And then letting your shoulders roll back and down, head comes up. Feeling your feet nice and firm on the floor. Maybe opening or lifting your toes and opening them up, spreading them out. And then setting one toe down at a time so you can get some space in between the toes. Stacking knees above ankles, hips above knees, shoulders and ears above the hips. And then we'll inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the ceiling, palms together, and back down to the heart. Let's do two more like that. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, back to your heart. Once more, reaching up. And back to the heart. Let's follow those hands all the way down to the floor. Bring your hands towards the mat. And as you inhale, we'll come halfway up. As you exhale, lower. Now to protect your lower back, let's squeeze those thighs together. We're going to spread the arms out nice and big and wide like wings as we bring them all the way back up to the ceiling and then back down to the heart. Good. Let's inhale, sweeping the arms up and exhale, folding down. Inhale, coming halfway up. Exhale, fold. Squeezing those thighs, nice big arms all the way up. And exhale, back to your heart. We'll do one more like that. Inhale. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold, squeezing those thighs as you inhale, reaching up. And exhale, back down to your heart. Beautiful. Let's inhale, reach the arms up. Palms are facing each other this time, head in between the arms. We're going to do a slight back bend. So tipping your chest up towards your ceiling, looking up. Breathing, making sure it feels right for you. And then coming back to center. Let's take hold of the left wrist. We'll stretch over towards your right, keeping both feet nice and solid on your mat. And then back to center and over to the other side. And back again. Let's let those arms swan dive down as you fold over the hips. Coming back into our forward fold. We're going to take the right leg back, knee down to the mat, sinking into our low lunge. Getting that left knee into your left armpit and sinking in nice and deep here. Maybe lifting your nose up, feeling a nice stretch in that right leg. And then we'll bring both hands onto our left knee, sinking in a little bit deeper. Squeezing those thighs together and maybe bringing your arms all the way up to the ceiling. Look 
looking up, finding that balance. And then palms can come together back down to the heart. Beautiful. We're going to twist it out here. So right elbow comes to the left knee, left elbow up towards the ceiling. Pushing on those palms, squeezing into the, into the abdomen. Sending your breath all the way down there. And then we'll bring the hands back to our heart. Let's bring them back down to the floor. We'll curl the back toe, lifting that knee up, coming into our high lunge. And let's see if we can uh, do the same thing on this side. So bringing your hands to your left knee, so really engaging your feet here. It's as if you're pulling your mat apart. And then we're going to reach the arms up towards the ceiling, maybe looking up, breathing down into your belly. And then palms can come together, bringing them back to your heart. And let's twist it out again, right elbow to left knee, left elbow up towards the ceiling. Taking a couple of breaths here, feeling nice and strong. And then we'll bring our hands back to our heart and back down to the floor. So we'll take the left toes back to meet the right, coming into our plank pose, getting nice and strong here. Let's see if we can pull the belly button up towards the spine, maybe lifting the spine a little bit. Really engaging your core. Breathing. And then bring your knees down. Let's rest back into child's pose. That was nice intensity, built up some heat there, and taking a moment to cool down. Allowing everything to settle and relax. And on your next exhale, we'll come into a table position and then bringing ourselves back into our downward facing dog. Hips towards the ceiling, head down towards the mat. Taking a breath or two. And then we'll walk the feet back up to meet the hands, folding over those hips. And let's just sit down in a nice comfy chair so your belly is resting on your thighs. We're going to reach the arms out in front, finding our beautiful chair pose. Maybe bring the palms together to your heart and we'll twist it out. Let's take the left elbow to the right knee, right elbow up. Beautiful. And then back to center. Let's take it to the other side. And back to center. Let's rest the hands back down to the floor, straightening out your legs, coming into our forward fold. And then squeezing those thighs, let's reach the arms nice and big and wide all the way up to the ceiling and back down to the heart. Fantastic, we get to do the other side. Let's inhale, reaching up, and then swan dive back over your hips. Hands come down to the mat. We'll take the left leg back, starting in our low lunge, sinking down into that left knee, putting the right knee in your armpit. Lifting your nose up, taking a little deeper stretch. And then maybe bringing both hands onto your right knee, squeezing those thighs together. And if it feels right, you can reach the arms all the way up. Looking up. 
bringing the palms together and back to your heart. And let's twist it out, left elbow to right knee, right elbow up to the ceiling, pushing into the palms, breathing down into your belly. Excellent. And let's come back to center. Bring the hands back down to the floor. We're going to curl the back toe, lifting that left knee up off the mat, and then bringing your hands onto the right knee. So sinking in, finding this high lunge really uses a lot of muscles in your legs. Keeping your balance, you can reach the arms up. Breathing. Let's twist it out, palms together, down to our heart, really using your focus here. We'll bring the left elbow to the right knee, right elbow up. Beautiful. Nice. Let's bring the hands back down to the floor, and we'll take the right leg back into our plank pose again. Nice, strong, long body, breathing. And then bring your knees down, we'll lower ourselves all the way down onto our bellies. Letting your hands come underneath your forehead, maybe taking your feet a little further apart from your mat. And just taking a rest here, feeling that pulsing sensation in your belly, that fire digesting all of those things. Beautiful. You're going to come back up, bring the elbows underneath the shoulders, bringing the hands together. So clasping your hands. We're going to curl the toes under and coming into a dolphin plank here. So just bringing yourself up on your elbows, engaging your core, breathing, and then maybe sending your hips up towards the ceiling and bringing them back into plank. So dolphin, dog, and then plank. And once more going up, and back down. Let's send the knees to the mat and make our way back into child's pose, easing your way back. Taking a resting breath or two here. And we'll bring ourselves onto our sits bones. Stretching those legs out in front, sitting up nice and tall for a moment, letting the shoulders roll down your back, closing your eyes, letting your legs settle, coming back to that diaphragmatic breath, breathing all the way down to those internal organs. We're going to twist it out. So take your right leg and bend it. We'll bring the right leg across the left and we'll wrap the left arm around. Right arm can come behind and looking over your right shoulder. So spine is nice and long. Keeping that breath flowing. Maybe with each exhalation, you're opening your shoulders a little bit more. And then slowly come back around. We'll switch sides. So right leg can go out, left leg comes in, crossing it over. Right arm around, left arm behind. Breathing here. And 
and then slowly coming back around. We'll bend both knees and we're gonna come into our little boat pose. So you might wanna bring your hands underneath your knees, lifting one foot off the mat and then the other. See how your tailbone feels today. If it's not feeling great, you might wanna skip this one. Maybe see if you can uh, bring your shins parallel to your mat. And if you're feeling nice and solid here, you can take your arms out into our little boat pose. Even straighten out those legs if you'd like. And we'll challenge ourselves. Let's see if we can come down into a canoe and then come back up into a boat. And down to a canoe and back up to a boat and once more. And back up, let's bring those knees in. We'll wrap our hands around and just taking a moment to settle and relax. And bringing yourself back up, let's imagine we're holding onto a rope and we're gonna lower ourselves down like a sail on a ship using that core to bring yourself all the way down. Once you get there, we can stretch the arms out overhead, legs stretch out, taking a nice, big, full belly breath. Fantastic. Let's bring the right knee into the chest, hugging it in. Maybe bringing your nose up towards your knee. And then letting your head rest back down. We'll switch sides, left knee comes in, right leg goes out. Bringing your nose back up. And keeping your head up, let's bring the right knee back in. So both knees are up. We'll take our hands behind our head, maybe resting your neck and your thumbs. And then we'll go from side to side. So stretch the left leg out, left elbow goes across to the right knee, back to center and the other side. Moving with your breath back and forth. And let's do four more, and three, and two, and one, and last one, there we go. Resting your head back down, bringing your knees in for a nice hug and rock from side to side. And then we'll send our heels up towards the ceiling, taking a moment, maybe flexing and pointing your toes. And then pointing your toes, maybe rotating your ankle one way and then the other. And then maybe flexing your feet again. We'll bring our hands back behind our head Elbows extended nice and wide. We're going to lift up and do little crunches here. So lifting and lowering, keeping your nose pointing up towards the ceiling. Little belly crunches. And then resting your head back down. Let's bring the knees down or the feet down so that the shins are parallel to the floor. Heels are pushing out. It's as if you've fallen over in a chair. You're going to lift the head up a little bit and then send those heels out and then bring them back in, keeping your head up, 
Sending the heels out and back in. And let's do three more like that. Keeping that breath going. Beautiful. And last one. And resting your head, bringing your knees in for another hug. And maybe rocking from side to side. And then we'll send our arms out into a T-shape. Let's let the knees float down towards the right, keeping your shoulders resting on the mat, making any adjustments that you need to so it feels right for you. And then letting your head look over towards your left hand. Coming back to your breath. And then we'll bring the knees and the head back to center and letting the knees float down to the left, head over to the right, coming back to your breath, shoulders relaxing. And then bringing your head and your knees back to center, placing a hand on each knee and taking your knees into a circle. And then we'll go in the other direction. Well, let's stretch the legs out, bringing our arms up and overhead one last time, taking a nice full breath in, letting out a sigh, and letting your arms float back down by your sides, maybe palms are facing up. Shoulders relaxing, legs taking up not, lots of room on your mat, closing your eyes, allowing yourself to integrate all of the poses this morning, and all that wonderful, fresh, new energy flowing through your body, from the tips of your toes, up your legs, to your hips, through your abdomen and that digestive fire, your chest, your shoulders and your neck. way to the top of your head. Allow everything to soften, to let go. And today's meditative poem by Dana Fall is Turn Your World Red. Cardinals calls me from railing of the deck. Turn your world red, he says, insistent, beckoning. Risk life outside your hard-earned walls and windows. Cast aside caution, propriety, and your too small sense of what you can and cannot do. Fly, I tell you, that the sky knows no constraints. All you are or can be comes clear in the near approach of clouds. 
why that which you fear the most holds your deepest teaching. Let your spirit be the bridge between safety and release. Soar to the far end of what is known from dawn to twilight. Then throw yourself at the whim of the wild night winds. Turn your world red and live with no regrets. Fly, and if you are blown off course, just change your de destination. Choose to land wherever your two feet are standing. And being like the cardinal today and turning your world red and fly. Namaste.